Hi guys, Graham from Epson here again. Hope you're doing alright. Hopefully by now you've had a chance to see episode 1 of my How Easy Is It series of videos, which is aimed at showing you how easy it is to use an Epson Colorworks series label printer to produce professional looking labels for any products, whatever they may be. In episode 1 we learned how to set up an Epson C6000 series label printer from scratch, out of the box, and install the printer driver. In episode 2, we're going to learn how to actually print our first label. So we'll cover setting up the printer driver with the correct settings and printing whatever design you may want to print. Hopefully by the end of this video you'll have a good idea of how to get started and in the next video we'll move on to some more advanced subjects. But for now, I hope you enjoy the video and we'll speak at the end. Thanks, bye! Our first step is to configure the Windows printer driver. To find this, open your control panel and navigate to the Devices and Printers folder. In here, locate the printer driver icon for your printer, right click on the icon and select Printing Preferences to open the Preferences window. In here you will see a number of settings that are greyed out and cannot be changed here. We will need to configure a new media definition using the button shown in order to begin configuring our label. At this stage we can now measure the physical dimensions of our label media. Measure the label, length and width. The printer is only interested in the dimensions of the physical label, not the backing paper or liner as it is sometimes called. As you can see here, I am only measuring the label itself. Measure as accurately as possible. Return to your Media Definition dialog. Give your Media Definition a name, in this instance I will call it Graham's Training. Enter the label width and label length just as you have measured them. It is not necessary to set the gap between labels in this instance. Select the correct media form. For this case we are using die cut labels with gaps between. Other options are available for different types of media. Select the media coating type in use. In this case, we are using glossy paper. Select the print quality required. Lower quality modes result in faster print speeds. I will choose maximum quality. These other settings will be covered in future videos. Color correction mode and spot color settings are advanced topics for a later date. Since I have a printer with a peel module installed, my settings for paper handling after print will be different than those of a printer with an auto cutter installed. I am going to choose to rewind my labels in this instance. Click OK and then click Close to complete setting up your media definition. We are now ready to configure our label software. For this demonstration I am using Nice Label by Europlus to design my label. You may be using software such as Bartender by Siegel Scientific or Codesoft by Techlinks. Click to create a new label. Make sure that our Epson C6500 printer driver is selected and click Next. Select Print on a sheet of paper. Even though we're using rolls of labels, this is the correct setting. 
make sure that you select the media definition that you created earlier as the paper type. Select portrait or landscape depending upon the orientation that you desire your label to be in. I will choose portrait. Click next. If things have gone well, the label dimensions should match those that you created in your media definition within the printer driver earlier. Leave the margins at zero and for this demonstration labels across horizontal and vertical count at one. Horizontal and vertical gap at zero. Check that the settings are correct and click finish. A design area matching the dimensions of your label should appear. At this stage I'm going to go straight to add a picture from my picture library. I have a library of pre-made label designs available to me. You would choose your own label design. Label artwork created in RGB mode is preferable for use with all inkjet label printers. I'm going to select this white goods energy efficiency label design for this demonstration. Click open and the software will bring in your design and you can drag and position the design appropriately on your design area. At this stage you could add extra options such as text or barcodes or even other pictures to your design. I'm just going to go straight to print this. On the print screen you can select the number of labels you want to print using these arrows. I'm just going to choose to print one label to begin with. Click print. Okay guys, so that's episode two and hopefully now you've seen how easy it is to start printing labels. In episode three, we're going to look at how to print full bleed labels. That means labels where the print extends right to the edge of the label area. This is very commonly required because the vast majority of labels have 100% coverage of print across the whole label area with no white edges. This can be quite a challenging subject, so we'll go through that carefully in the next episode, and I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.